dear students welcome to the lecture series on the topic engineering graphics today we are going to discuss about the isometric projections i am dr ip sahuja professor department of mechanical engineering punjabi university patiala uh, today we are going to discuss about the isometric projections of the combined solid in which a cube is resting centrally on top of a square block so let's read out the statement a cube of 25 mm h is placed centrally on top of another square block of 40 mm h and 15 mm thickness so we are required to draw the isometric projections of the combined solid right so to begin with once again we are required to draw the isometric scale so the true length will be drawn at an angle of 45 degree and the isometric length will be drawn at an angle of 30 degree so whatever true length distances are provided to us in the problem statement so all those true lengths they have to be converted into the isometric lengths and these isometric lengths they will be drawn onto the isometric projections so step number 1 we are going to draw the horizontal ground line so this is our horizontal ground line that we have drawn then we are going to mark a point over here and we need to draw the x axis this is our x axis here we get the y axis and here we get the z axis so x axis and the z axis that is the isometric axis they will be drawn at an angle of 30 degree each and now we are required to draw to begin with the isometric projections of the square block where the size of the base is square and it is equal to 40 mm and the height of the square block is given to us as 15 mm so step number 1 we are going to draw on the z axis the edge length of the square block which happens to be isometric distance 40 mm right it's not the true length it is the isometric length 40 mm then on the y axis since the height of this particular square block is given to us as 15 mm so this height of the square block will be drawn onto the y axis now next we have to draw the square base on the x z reference plane you see this is our x axis this is our z axis so the base of the square block it will be resting on to the ground so on the x z plane the four edges of the square block have to be drawn so this is one edge which is equal to 40 mm this is drawn on the isometric axis then the second edge this is also equal to 40 mm this has been drawn on to the x axis over there next you see we have to draw two isometric lines so this isometric line corresponds to the third edge of the base and this will be drawn parallel to the z axis over there so this edge of 40 mm and this edge will also be for the 40 mm similarly the fourth edge of the base of the square block this is also equal to 40 mm so this is an isometric length which has been drawn parallel to the x axis so this completes the construction of the base of this particular square block now you see we have drawn these two edges lighter with using the thin construction line the reason is that these two edges they will not be visible to the observer so that is why they have not been drawn dark using the object line so they have been drawn using only the construction lines so that we can get appropriate feel about the total edges of the square block now the height of the square block this is equal to 15 mm so this edge of the square block has been drawn parallel to the y axis similarly from here as well we have to draw the edge height equal to 15 mm parallel to the y axis over here now having located the height now i have to draw the top face of the square block 
so we haven't drawn another edge over here because this edge is again 15 millimeter and this is going to overlap with the construction lines over there so once we draw this horizontal line so obviously this edge height this will also be equal to 15 millimeter now in order to draw the top face this edge will be parallel to this one and it will be parallel to the z-axis similarly this edge it will be parallel to this edge and it will be parallel to the x-axis similarly you can draw this edge again parallel to the z-axis over there and since these two edges they will be visible to the observer so that is why these two edges of the square block have been drawn dark and now why we haven't drawn these two edges as dark ones because of the simple reason that there is a cube which is having the edge length equal to 25 millimeter this is going to be rested centrally on top face so this is my top face of the square block you can check this is the top face of the square block and at the center point now I have to find out the center point you see I'll find out the midpoint of this edge I'll be locating the midpoint of this edge and this midpoint of this edge and the midpoint of this one they will be joined you are going to get the center line over here similarly these two edges are also there corresponding to the top face so these two edges they will also be bisected and once you bisect these two edges so once again this midpoint and this midpoint of this edge will be obtained and once you join these midpoints now I have been able to locate the center of the top face of this square block so having located the center of the top face now I have to place a cube over here now once I place a cube because it will be having certain amount of height as well so the certain portion of these two edges so they will be covered by the cube which is going to be placed at this particular position over there so that is why we did not darken these two edges of the square block right so that is the major reason now let us see how we can go about locating the cube on the top of this particular square block now here what we are going to do the edge length of the square block is 40 millimeter that is this edge length happens to be 40 whereas the edge length for the cube is 25 millimeter so if I have to draw cube of the size 25 so what I'll have to do this is my center point of the top face so I have to locate 12 and a half millimeter distance from this side and 12 and a half millimeter distance from this side so that I can draw two projector lines over there and the distance between these two projector lines will be 25 millimeter just see this is my center line so using this center line I can do one thing I'll mark 12 and a half millimeter on this side and 12 and a half millimeter on this side the moment I mark these two distances equal to 12.5 millimeter once I draw these two projector lines so these two projector lines will be separated by a distance which is equal to 25 millimeter and the midpoint lies on this axis so these two lines have been symmetrically located towards the center that is total distance is 25 and distance from the axis is 12.5 millimeter each and this distance will be how much seven and a half millimeter from this side and seven and a half millimeter will be the distance left from this edge over there similarly on the other side again two projectors will be drawn which will be at a distance of 12 and a half millimeter from the axis point right so this distance is 12.5 this is also 12.5 so the remaining distance will be 7.5 from these two edges over here right so I have been able to obtain a square for which once again the center remains the same so that is why we say that the cube has been located centrally on top of the square block so since I have been able to draw this square just check this is my square over here now using these guidelines of the square I can mount a cube on top of the square block how that can be done I can darken these two lines this edge I can darken this edge 
also I can darken and the height will give me the height of the cube. So please check these two edges I have darkened that is the object lines I have drawn over here to represent the front two edges of this particular cube and you can check this edge and this edge they are not to be darkened because they are lying on the back side and since these two edges they are lying on the back side and they will be covered by the other surfaces of the cube. So what I am going to do the vertical height I had measured over here as 25 millimeter from here as well 25 millimeter height will be drawn from here as well again 25 millimeter height will be drawn. So these are three vertical edges of the cube which will be visible to the observer and then I have already got first point second point third point and fourth point for this particular top face of the cube so this also I had drawn 25 millimeter from this corner you can check this is 25 millimeter from this corner so all the four vertical edges they have been drawn out of which three edges we have darkened and one edge this will be again the hidden line so that is why only the construction line have been shown and the top face of the cube will be visible to the observer so now I am going to darken all the four edges of this particular cube now we can see this is the construction of a cube right so this way all the four edges of the top four edges of the cube will are visible three vertical edges which are on the front side they are also visible to the observer and finally you see I did not darken this edge which was the top edge of the top face corresponding to the square block similarly I did not darken this edge which was one of the edges of the top face of the square block now this portion of the edge and this portion of the edge so both of them they have been covered by this cube so the remaining portion of the square block which has not been covered by this cube it will be darkened now you can check this portion of the square block which has not been covered by this cube has been darkened and similarly this portion of the square block which has not been covered by this cube again it has been drawn using the object line or a darker line so this completes the construction of the isometric projections of the combined solid in which the cube having an edge of 25 millimeter it was lying centrally on top of a square block which was having the dimension equal to 40 millimeter and the height of the square block was provided to us as 15 millimeter right so this way we can carry out the construction of the isometric projections of the cube resting centrally on top of a square block so this is all for today and we are going to continue with few more problems related to isometric projections of the solids in the coming classes. So thank you very much. Thanks a lot.